Uh, Shalom. Uh, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahshah, Bashem Yahkadash. Uh, the honors to the elder uh, apostles of Great Millstone. Citation you all can teach all truth and sincerity. Um, it's gonna be called um, um, anal anal sex is an abomination. Um, so uh, this 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 guy um his his channel is called uh slight reflections um he made this video not too long ago it's like two months ago he said like anal sex isn't gay but it is weird because honestly um you're not supposed to um be um having intercourse uh, in that area, because that area is a, a exit area, um, you, 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 you poop out that area, you, you're not supposed to put objects in your, in your, in your anal cavity, because that basically messes up the, the elastic inside your, um, your, uh, your, you know, your, your asshole, basically. <sighs> you know, basically. And plus, it's an abomination because two two men shouldn't be doing that because uh, uh, it it's not it. You know, the most I didn't design. Uh, how, that's not how. Uh, two men are supposed to be like that. Same goes for the lesbians, but it's not how. And, and even if you're in a, a heterosexual relationship, two straight people, a male and a female, shouldn't be doing anal sex either. Because it's, you know, the most high designed a, a, a man and a woman to only be doing, to be only having sex in the, in, in the, in the, the pussy area, not the, not the ass area, you know. Um, anyway, uh. I'm gonna go to the scriptures. I'm gonna go to uh, Deuteronomy uh, 23, verse 17. Uh, it's, it, it says, Therefore, Saki, this is Deuteronomy 23 and 17. It says, There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. So we're not supposed to, our, our men are not supposed to be sodomites. Uh, sodomizing men or women and and our daughters shouldn't be uh committing whoredoms going sleeping around with every man that she sees or every man that goes appealing to her eyes our women should be more chaste and try to preserve their virginity for a man uh you know for for her husband not for every every man in in her community you know Uh, I'm going to go to um, Leviticus uh, 20 and 13. Um, this is Leviticus 20 and 13. It says, If a man also lie with mankind as he lie with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination because it's an abomination in the eyes of the Lord for two men to lie together. To do a sexual act together, as man and woman does, because two men are not supposed to be doing that, you know. Um, you know that's why a lot of, uh, well, that's why the, the L, you know, the alphabet community, uh, receive so much judgment, uh, because the Most High is not pleased with your lifestyle, you know. Um, to be honest and to be uh truth truthful, because if the Most High was pleased with it. He would have made made it. Um, he would have made it natural in in the animal community, like two two um, two um, two blowfish. I believe they're blowfish. Um, there was a an article on Facebook where two um, either they're blowfish or lifefish or lifefish. Um, they can um, they can um, mold e into each other's skin when they mate. 
I, I could be wrong on what type of fish it is. It's a fish that has a light on it. It's at the bottom of the ocean. It's a scary fish. It has a light on the, on the, on the, at the tip of its face. And when they mate, when two female, when a male and female mate, they mold into each other's skin. And it, it remind me of that scripture when, um, uh, when a man, man is supposed to leave father and mother and, be, and become one flesh with his wife. Um, you know, that's, that it remind me of that scripture where it says that the a male and female become one flesh. You know, that, 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 that remind me of that scripture right there. Cause it, I wish I can get the picture where, um, it is these two fish are, are molded into each other's skin. They take take on the attributes of each other after the mating session is over with. You know, that's how like I said, like if 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 that lifestyle was natural and was pleasing to the Lord, he would have made it natural in in, in the animal kingdom. But in the animal kingdom it, it you need a male and female to procreate. You can't procreate with two two men, and you can't procreate with two women. It's not possible. It's never happened in history, you know, of 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 of, of time. It never happened. If if that actually happened in, in nature, or you know, that everything would die, Every, nothing would be created, things would cease to exist. That's how. That's how we. That's how. Um, that's how we know and understand that's not natural and, and you know, that's not how, you know, it, uh, everything was designed to go. Um, and plus, it's dangerous to be having um, ain't no sex anyway because you got to go, you know, to have that particular type of sexual act, you got to go through, you got to have drug, you got to uh, get drugged up, uh and uh, use particular um, enhancements to make it pleasurable. Because that type of act, if you don't use uh, particular uh, lubricants, it's not going to uh, be enjoyable. It's going to actually just hurt, you know. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go to uh, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. It says, um, know ye, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves of mankind. Um, neither, ne nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. And such were some of you. But ye are washed, but but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of of the Lord Yahweh Shai, and by the Spirit of our power. But the point is, those that do these these deplorable and abominable acts that I mentioned in this 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 this, this precept text, the scripture right here in First Corinthians six nine through eleven. You're not going to receive the kingdom of the Most High unless you repent. If you repent from them, them abominable and wicked ways and turn and and completely uh, do a whole 360, 180 from it and offend less, you know the Most High can show you mercy and forgive you. But if you continue on in, you you're going to be destroyed, and um, you know, and you can't turn if you and you're not going to escape. You're not going to escape the Most High's judgment if you're a part of that. That that abomination, doing that abominable act, and that goes for st straight people who do who do that act, and 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 the alphabet community. So anyway, I'm gonna end it right here. I'm gonna say all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Kakadash, double honors to the elder apostle, great millstone. Zetichu, I can teach all truth and sincerity and shalom.